God is good and all the time God is good. Today we have something to discuss and that is about how to survive the time of trouble. People have been preparing themselves on how to face things which are going to come as the world ends. But some are in confusion because do not know what to do. So today I want to share with you tips or tricks or the way that can help you to survive the time of trouble or the time when the world uh, will be ending close of the time many time events as we go together in the book of matthew chapter 24 we are going to read several verses so that we can get the picture and see how to uh, to survive verse 4 says and jesus say answered and said unto them 24 verse uh, verse 4 uh, is where we start and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And they shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So here we see something that God is telling us that we should not be troubled. When we hear wars and rumors of wars, the things must come to pass, but not the end. Okay? So, there are some of the signs that God tells us not to worry about this. Let not these troubles trouble you. So, that's what we need to understand. We need to be in calmness when we are seeing these troubles. And verse 7 says that for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquake in diverse places okay so jesus christ just giving us the complete picture of the things which will happen at the end of the time but for uh, as i speak now we all know that these things has happened so what do we need to take on is to know that jesus christ foresaw these things and predicted about it so why did do these things happen we know satan is a destroyer and killer and god is a creator and peace giver uh, so what happens is when the holy spirit is offended grieved by people who are living in this world He's withdrawn the story from people, not from complete or the whole world, from people. Because if the Holy Spirit is taken from this world or from this earth, this total discussion must happen. Why? Because before the creation of this world, the first being to happen or to exist in this world was the Holy Spirit. If we read the book of Genesis uh, chapter 1 verse 2. The first one to exist before creation was the Holy Spirit. And we have no any Bible verse which show that the Holy Spirit has been withdrawn completely from this earth. So, as the Holy Spirit is, with, uh, is taken from individual life, and a lot of people are being in control of the spirit of devil, what happens that these things happen because the Holy Spirit is not totally working because it's a life giver and peace giver. But Satan is a destroyer, so nature will act because of what is happening when the Holy Spirit is not uh, in control of everything in human life. Uh, to, to, to show you the reality of this one, we know when Jesus Christ died, earthquakes happened. Nobody told, told the ex earthquake to, uh, to take praise and shaking and what, and the sun to... To shut down it, its light. It happened naturally because of what was happening on the cross. Nature can hear. Nature can sense. But not the way as we do. Differently. Because Jesus, the power of God controls everything. So they are held by the power of God. And so when the power of God is just like. It's not in total control. And uh, there's another power which won't take chance or control. The nature will react. So that's what happened when the Holy Spirit uh, is taken away. So we need to see that these things must happen. And they are now increasing and they are going to increase. But in explanation of this, 
some of the famines and pestilences, Jesus did not say they are going to be caused by Satan or by nature or by people themselves. So Jesus just uh, showed us what was to happen or what will happen. So, my friend, there are some of the earthquakes, there are some of the famines and pestilences which are created by human. Okay? Because they, they, they just bring things which will destroy f uh, uh, our safety, creation of some of the pestilence, because they want us to, to suffer so that we can accept what they plan. This world is under the control of the Holy Spirit working to save us, but still this world is under control of the satanic principle, where Satan works through people, scientists, and all people uh, in different occasion or different position in this world. Verse 7, uh, we have read it, and verse 8, all things are the beginning of sorrow. So we, 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 we can see that these things are the beginning of the sorrow because they are happening like, even like now. So we can say that we are entering to the time when we will suffer. Though some of the people have been suffering f uh, th uh, through ages, but now we are going to enter to the time when Jesus said this, and shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and they shall kill you, and you shall be hated portion for my name's sake. So the time is coming when everybody who is called the Christian, uh, or called by the name of Jesus Christ, will be hated by everyone. So we need to understand that uh, if you trust in Jesus Christ and you have given your life to Jesus Christ, you need to understand that there's a moment when people will hate you, when your brother will hate you, when your sister will hate you, when your friend will come against you and will be betrayed even with the people who, whom we worship with the same denomination, the same church. So now is the time that we need to stand uh, and now the time that we need to stand and focus on God and have a personal relationship, vertical relationship with God and show love to people who are around us but not to depend on them that they must support us and on our belief so we need to understand that we need Jesus Christ completely and we need to surrender our life to Jesus Christ we are living in the end time my friend now the time to prepare yourself now the time to give up your life to Jesus now the time to stop uh, living like a world. Now is the time to, to stand on the word of God. Verse 13 says that, but, the, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. So we need to have patience on the things which are in the world, not to be swept away by what we see or what we hear. My friend, now is the time. How to survive in time is to have the personal relationship with Jesus Christ and follow him as he guides you. The Holy Spirit knows the, the, the beginning from the end. So what, what we need to understand is to have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, being filled with the Holy Spirit every day, to walk in the Spirit, not in the flesh. We are living in the world which is polluted with the sin. My friend, I believe you can sense it and you can testify about that. The world that we are living in, the atmosphere is sinful. And uh, when we have the Holy Spirit, it will be easier for us to survive because He will guide us through how to live, to walk with people who are evil, and to live with them that may show them the love of Jesus. And, but those who do not want God, Still, the Holy Spirit will give us the wisdom how to live with them. So, my friend, now is the time to start reading your Bible. If you are a Christian, be serious with your religion. Be serious with the, with the person whom you follow. That is Jesus. You are the follower of Christ. Therefore, you must follow Jesus Christ and live with him and still depend on him and trust him and desire to be like him. But not only imitation, have a personal relationship with him because the power is not in you. The power is from Jesus Christ. Thank you because you have given your time to listen to this as we are going on. Take a time to start the Bible. Subscribe and like and share. May God bless you. In Jesus' name, amen.